Do you know that your prayers are empty? Ooh, I'm celebrating today. What are we going to do with all of the drinks? I'm going to drink them. That's the right answer. That's a mother's answer. Do you know that your prayers are worthless? Do you know that if you will pray, you will not going to be answered? How do you know? Do you know what happens with your prayers? The Gemara is saying to us, telling us, that when a person is praying, there are angels that are in charge on taking those prayers and bringing them to the crown of Hashem, to the crown of the Creator. Great! So now, you pray, the angel is coming, taking that prayer, and he's going up and up and higher and higher to bring that prayer to the crown of Hashem. The dead prayer will be answered. But the Gemara is testifying that the angels are not able to reach the crown of Hashem. So the angels are starting with the, the height that they're catching. They're flying higher and higher with the prayer, and they're starting to burn from the heat of the, of, of the fire of Hashem. And they're not able to stand in the heat of the purity of Hashem. And the prayers are keep on pulling higher and higher. And the angels, they cannot grab them anymore. They can't hold those prayers. So what they're doing, they still have a mission. And they haven't completed it. So what they're doing, they're making those prayers to take an oath. They're forcing them to swear that they will reach to the crown of Hashem by themselves because the angels are not able. They're like just about to, to, to go up in flames, to die, to disappear from the world. So your prayers are flying by themselves to the highest places of them all that even the holiest angels are not able to reach. And if you're going to say, no, probably it's talking about the prayers of the righteous, so I'm going to tell you. The Zohar Kadosh is describing three kinds of prayers. There, is, there are three verses that are saying Tefillah le Moshe, prayer of Moshe. Tefillah le David, prayer of David. And Tefillah le Ani, Tefillah for the poor. So, which prayer is higher? The prayer of Moshe, the prayer of King David, or the prayer of the poor? So the, the Zohar Kadosh is saying, that Hashem, he sits in his place and he's accepting the prayer of Moshe. And in another time, he sits and he accepts the prayer of David. But when the prayer of the poor, the Filalani, is knocking on the door, so then Hashem Barach is saying to Moshe, I'm sorry, I cannot hear your prayer anymore. All of the angels, please, you must forgive me. You need to go out from this place because I need to be alone with the prayer of the poor. And the same with the prayer of David. When Hashem is listening to the prayer of David, David Amelech, King David, standing and praying, crying to Hashem. Amazing, right? It must be gorgeous. It must be fantastic. King David, the real Mashiach, eternal king of our nation, talking to Hashem, singing his songs to Hashem with a pure heart, with a wishing soul. And then suddenly there is a knocking on the door. Oh, who is it? It's a prayer of a poor. A poor. Who is that poor? A poor from wisdom. Poor from knowledge. Someone that doesn't know how to wash his hands. Someone that doesn't know how to learn Gemara. Someone that he holds the Siddur upside down. He doesn't know how to read the Hebrew letters. That's a poor person. Someone that doesn't know how to do a motzi lechem in Haaretz, doesn't have a clue. Shabbat, what means Shabbat? What is Shabbat? What's that thing, thing? Shabbat you're all talking about? What is Shabbat? What's that? That's a very poor person, right? When that poor person is saying to Hashem, Barach, I'm hungry. I need to pay my rent. Uh, why am I suffering so much in my life? I'm homeless. I don't know what to do. I'm confused. Am I supposed to convert or not to convert? Should I serve you or shouldn't I? Maybe I'll go look for another job or shouldn't I? All of those simple prayers of the poor are rejecting the prayers of King David and our main leader, Moshe Rabbeinu, the righteous one that took us out of Egypt. And the Creator is spending time alone with that poor person, dedicating his time to you. So you don't need to be Moshe that your prayers will be answered. You don't need to be David 
that your prayers will be answered. You just need to be honest and to pray. You just need to admit that you're poor and to say to Hashem Barach, can you help me because I'm poor? Because I don't have a clue how I'm going to pay my rent, pay my rent this month. And I don't have no understanding how to educate my children. And I don't know how I'm going to wake up tomorrow morning to pray. And I don't have a clue how to run my life and how to deal with my situation. And what's going to happen in 20 years, Hashem, I'm afraid. Those simple words are words that are carving their way by themselves to heaven, to the highest place of them all, that even angels are not able to rise, to go.